am Vaishali. In my previous videos, I explained you about LPP, its structures and graphical problems with minimization LP for maximization LP problem. Okay, so all those videos link I have mentioned below and if you feel my videos are helpful for you, so please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, now starting with the question number 6, this is the LP problem with minimization objective function, two constraints and two decision variables. Okay, so for that I told you there are four steps in which we can solve this given problem by the graphical method. The first step of graphical method is the first step of graphical method is to convert the given inequality as the equation. Now writing them as the equation we get x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 3x1 plus x2 is equals to 2. This is equation 1 and equation 2. This is step number 1. In step number 2, we have to find the coordinate of each equation so that we can plot these lines on the graph. Okay? x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 0 is the equation number first. Put x1 is equals to 0. When you put x1 is equals to 0, what do you get? 3x2 is equals to 3 and x2 is equals to 1. When you put x2 is equals to 0, x1 is equals to 3. Now writing them here, x1 is equals to 0, here x2 is equals to 0. When x1 is 0, x2 is 1. When x2 is 0, x1 is equals to 3. This is the first equation. Now for the second equation, put x1, directly you can see, put x1 is equals to 0, x2 is equals to 2, put x2 is equals to 0, x1 is equals to 2. Okay, so second step is completed here. For the third step, we have to plot these equations in the form of line here on the graph. So we are having point like 0, 1, 2, 3. So I have taken the unit, one unit here, like 0, 0 is the origin. This is x axis, this is x, this is x1 axis, this is x2 axis. Now point 1, 2, 3, and here 1, 2, 3. Now my question number 1, contain the point x1 is equals to 0 and x2 is equals to 1. So 0, 1 is this point. Okay, 3, 0 will be this point. Because throughout this line, you know that x2 will be 0. In this line, you know x1 is equals to 0. Okay, now again, x1 is equals to 0 and x2 is equals to 0. Here, x1 is equals to 2 and x2 is 0. So this is the second line. This is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2. Okay, in my previous videos I told you if the constraint contains the sign less than then we have to we have to shade the below region in first quadrant while here we are having the constraints with greater than sign so we have to shade the above region. The region above the line in the first quadrant. So what is the region above the line? Above the line. This will be the region above this line. We stop here. Now this is the second line. The region above the line is this. We are not going to cover this region. Okay. We have to cover the region which is above the line. Fine. In the first quadrant. Now this is the problem of minimization of Z. For that, first we have to find the corner points. What will be the corner points? This as A, this as B, this as C. Okay, so A is already having the value as 3, 0. B is C is having the value of 0, 3. Now solving as these is the intersection of two lines. B is the point which is intersection of two lines. So we have to find the value of B by X. Simultaneously solving these two given equations. Okay. First, I am going to write the physical region. The physical region is A, B, C. Fine. Now, solving these two lines. What is the line? What is the equation? X1 plus 3X2 is equals to 3 and X1 plus X2 is equals to 2. x2 is equals to 1 by 2. Okay. x2 is equals to 1 by 2. When x2 is equals to 1 by 2, what will be the x1? x1 is equals to 
वन बाय टू माइनस टू इज इक्वल्स टू टू माइनस वन बाय टू पुटिंग इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड देन एक्स वन विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री बाय टू सो द पॉइंट इज थ्री बाय टू एंड वन बाय टू ओके ऑल द थ्री पॉइंट कॉर्नर पॉइंट Now, in the fourth step, we have to write the value of corner points, and simultaneously we have to find the value of the objective function, and then we decide which is the optimal value of z for the given problem. Okay. Now the corner point is zero, having the value of zero zero. Corner point is a with the value. Corner point, sorry. Corner point is a with the value three zero. Corner point is b with the value three by two and one by two. And corner point is c with the value zero two. Okay, for that we have to find the value of objective function. So z c, z a, and z b. What is the z? Z is equals to one point five x one. Plus two point five x two. Okay, so here x one is equals to zero. So one point five into zero plus two point five. Two point five into two. What the value is? Value is five. Now here one point five into three plus two point five into zero. Four point five. Here. Three by two and one by two. One point five into three by two. Value is three point. So you have to find the value which is minimum of z. So z minimum is z b, which is three point five. So z b. Z is equals to three point five. X one is equals to three by two. X two is equals to one by two. This is the optimal solution. This is the optimal solution. Okay, this is the optimal solution where z is equals to three point five because this is the minimum value. As the question asks for minimum value of z, z is equals to three point five. X one is equals to three by two. X two is equals to one by two. Okay, okay. The question is completed. If you want the solution, if you want the explanation of any other topic, please give the comments below. Thank you.